I think the most common thing I, I, that really surprised me working with, you know, a couple dozen entrepreneurs and, and is watching them build and sell their company. Um, you know, this is 20 some odd years ago, um, which is that they were not really risk takers in the common sense of the word. They are not people that gambled, that race fast cars, that live their life with a lot of uh, risk. You know, they weren't all the Elon Musk model of kind of constantly doing, you know, cr crazy things. Most of the successful ones, they, th their whole family future, you know, is bet on the company. And there's a lot of risk. I mean, there's a lot of unknown risk. There's market risk. There's product risk. There could be a fire in the building. There's all sorts of risk when you own and start a small, small company. And... What they're very good at is actually minimizing all the other risks that they can minimize. And so what I found is they are actually a great risk minimizers because they're taking such a big risk on so many dimensions, they don't want to deal with other things coming up and biting them that they just could have taken care of uh, much more easily. Um, uh, they're, they're certainly going to be conservative financially and stay on top of cash flow. Um, and they're very conservative about expansion and not expanding uh, too quickly. Um, and I think that's something you don't hear very much, but I think the best entrepreneurs are actually really good risk minimizers because they know how to take a big risk in certain areas and they'll minimize risk um, everywhere else.